Only obey Allah. Only follow Allah. Don't obey the laws of man. Don't obey the law of the land. If we have two sources, both authentic, both dating back to the same era, both reliable, why do you follow the violent one? Right. Why not follow the peaceful reading? People who believe in these books and say, see, if you edit these ten pages, your book will become wonderful. I use a lot of quotations. Mm -hmm. I try my best not to make any statements for myself. Mm -hmm. Because the, the level of, of mentality within the Muslim world is that, okay, as long as it has a divine coating, then we'll accept it. If it's from Tawhidi himself, then it's man-made. Mm -hmm. So if it's divine, they also can't reject it. If the law of the land is Islamic, we respect the law of the land. What if it's not Islamic? If it's not Islamic, then the law of the land and those who make it can go to hell, quite honestly, because Allah oh said in the Quran, God. in chapter 33, verse 1, He said, O Prophet, fear Allah and do not obey the disbelievers and the hypocrites. You can't, you can't, you can't obey Him. So He can go to hell. Let me tell you, let me tell you something. We will, you, well, you're on your way to the hellfire. All our Muslims are destined for the hellfire. Do you really believe and, uh, that? Yes, but the fact is that you have an opportunity to change. So when you die, Depending on your culture, we will either bury you or burn you or cut you and throw you to the birds. So you left your body and went to heaven. You went there without the body. What do you do with good food and virgins, I'm asking? What is the direct antidote to jihadi terrorism? An immediate and quick solution to it. Individual transformation is the only solution, but that's not a quick solution but a lasting solution. Look, Islam can never, ever, ever be reformed. Muslim individuals can. That's what I'm doing, that's my work. Individuals can. Individual transformation is the only solution. That's what I'm doing, that's my work. But quick solution, I don't have one. Islam as a religion cannot. No Muslim will leave what they believe to be the word of God and follow the word of Imam Tawhidi or the word of, of man. That's man-made. They want what is God's law, not what could be God's law. Two different issues. You're telling someone to completely convert. Re re reform is a conversion. Then they'll never. Firstly, we need to understand that religion came to serve humanity, not to serve Muslims or to, to serve God. I need to teach this book and spread it. Right? This is wrong. This is serving God. Religion was not sent down to serve God, religion serves me. I don't serve my God. God doesn't need me. God doesn't need me to, to worship and, and go, uh, you know, promote Him. He does, he has a, he's a king, He has everything. See, we must understand this. Though nobody wants to spell it out, nobody wants to say it, I know. This may bring things upon myself, but it's okay. It is written not in one, in many religious books across the world, it is written clearly, those who do not believe the same things that I believe must die, they are fit to die, they are unfit to live here, this is clearly there. So because people are claiming it is the word of God, they don't have the courage to amend the book. So why have people become like this? Because they are identified with things that they are not. They've gotten identified with some religious belief or an ideology or national identity or whatever. For all this, what's the solution? Solution is only evolution. We have to put them through a spiritual process. A spiritual process means must be understood something beyond physicality must be brought into their lives. You look at what the Muslims believe is the word of God, the Holy Quran, it's only made up of a few hundred pages and I'm pretty sure you would agree with me that God has a lot more to say than just three hundred pages. See, this is the nature of human intelligence. If you do something stupid today, tonight your intelligence will bother you, why did I do this? But if it is God endorsed or scripture endorsed, you can do idiotic things with great confidence. This needs to go. 
we need to move humanity into a more responsible function. If this doesn't happen, we keep looking up and doing all kinds of terrible things to each other and to ourselves. This is happening all the time. The entire movement, what I'm heading right now is towards moving the humanity from religion to responsibility.